In this video, we're going to talk about my scorecard section in BC Designer Online that uh, helps to organize strategy scorecards of your organization. Uh, the section is divided into three parts. The toolbar on the top, the structure of the scorecards, and the widgets on the right. Let's start with the new menu. Here we have two options, new scorecard and new group. With the new scorecard option, you can create a new scorecard. As you can see, in this dialog, the software gives you three choices. Create a scorecard from scratch. In this case, you will have a blank scorecard with a predefined four perspectives, and uh, you will be able to add more perspectives, add business goals, KPIs, and build the scorecard according to your needs. Another option is to create a scorecard using one of the templates. Each of the templates includes uh, some strategy map, a set of KPIs, and in the description for the template, you will find the link to the article that explains the logic that stands behind this template. And there are templates for different business domains and frameworks. The last option is to create a scorecard using Strategy Wizard. In this case, the software will guide you throughout the strategic planning process by asking certain questions and using your answers to build the scorecard. Uh, let's get back to the new menu. Another option in the menu is new group. With this option, you can add more folders or groups uh, in the organizational structure. These groups help to keep your scorecard organized. Uh, you can have many groups in different levels. You can uh, drag and drop scorecards. And you can put users in the different groups by giving them certain permissions. The next button on the toolbar is properties. If used for the root element, you can change the name of your organization. For the groups, you can change the name of the group. And when used for a scorecard, you can change the scorecard name, description, and link. The next button on the toolbar is share. For this function, we have a separate video that you can access using this camera icon. Uh, this function will help you to grant certain rights to the users. You can uh, assign rights for a specific indicator, uh, for a whole scorecard or group of scorecards. You can also decide about the type of rights that you want to grant. As you can see, all scorecards have some small charts next to their names. What are these charts and where is the data coming from? These charts show the total performance of the scorecard. In other words, these charts correspond to the root elements of the scorecard. Let's uh, open scorecard. And we'll see that the progress of the root element corresponds, matches the progress displayed in the uh, My Scorecast section. You can customize the charts by selecting root element and switching to the context tab. The 
Next section, widget section. The widgets section on the right helps to keep your team informed about various aspects of your strategy. The strategy attributes widget visualizes the uh, general data of the company's strategy uh, that you can customize in the account settings. And uh, the latest activity widget shows the latest changes that your team introduced into the scorecards. And administrator of the account can configure the widgets in the settings section on the organizational tab. That was a quick overview of the My Scorecard section. Feel free to contact our customer support team if you have any questions.